I've come here today to come and see the lights being turned off on Piccadilly Circus behind me because it's Earth Hour at 8.30. Well, the idea of Earth Hour is to try and get hundreds of millions of people across the world um, in 125 different countries, all to switch out their lights for an hour to show the need for strong action on climate change and how many millions of people are supporting it. Having the lights all turn off here as well as have it synchronized around the world is actually quite incredible. It's, it shows a, a, a global commitment to try to make a change in our world. It's just for an hour. It's not about how much carbon, how much energy is being saved. It's just trying to raise awareness. We want the public to get behind and uh, make sure that our politicians know what the, the priorities are. One of the really big things about Earth Hour has been the number of companies that have got involved. And that's enabled us to spread our reach far, far than, than WWF would have been able to do on our own. It's great to hear that companies like Coca-Cola are behind this campaign. It's really good to see such a huge company actually investing a lot of their time in creating awareness. Coke has been fantastic in helping us do this. And not only for the awareness raising uh, events like this, but also for the content of the work around the world that uh, Coke is doing on water, sustainable livelihoods, and just promoting a more sustainable lifestyle for people. I think it's about time we did something about climate change. And I mean, we can't do, I mean, everyone as such cannot do something, you know, great. But I think making people aware and politicians aware as well, I think that plays an important role. Behind us we have the Earth Hour Hourglass. So during the course of this hour, the red uh, grains of sand, as it were, are moving through the hourglass uh, as a demonstration that we need to take action quickly on climate change because time is of the essence. Well, we hope that Earth Hour will be a sort of a beacon both of concern and of hope. Concern that uh, to safeguard the natural world and all its wonders, we need action on climate change. And hope, because here are millions and hundreds of millions of people all joining uh, in together and each doing their little bit and calling on decision makers to do what they can. So that between us all, we do take the action that's necessary to protect our planet.